Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we will look at compiling Dalai Dockerized on Windows. What is Dalai? Dalai allows us to run our own large language models on a basic home desktop. Basically, it's a localized install of your own chat GPT. Dalai can run both the Llama and Stanford Alpaca models. This video will show you how to get the Stanford Alpaca 7B model working correctly. As things stand today, the current Cocktail Peanut repo seems to build a corrupt quantized Alpaca 7B model. As shown in the video, the Alpaca 7B model looks like it's hanging when you submit any instructions to it. When you switch on debug mode and input an instruction, you might get the bad magic error as shown, pointing to the corrupt Alpaca 7B model. This video will show you how to resolve this as well. Let's start setting up the live and we'll set it up containerized using Docker. So launch the turn Windows features on or off application. Now you want to turn on the virtual machine platform and the Windows subsystem for Linux. Enable that, click OK and reboot the machine. After the restart, go ahead and check for Windows updates. Ensure there's no outstanding updates on the machine you're working on. Now Docker requires WSL2 to function properly. Let's open Windows PowerShell and enable WSL2. Enter WSL space dash dash update to enable WSL2. And you can re-execute the command just to confirm everything is now updated on WSL. And just for good measure and because it's Windows, maybe reboot before we go ahead and install Docker. Next, head over to the Docker website and go ahead and grab the Windows installer. Now let's install Docker. Make sure that these two options are selected. Click OK and install Docker. You can log out and reboot and complete the installation. After the restart, go ahead, accept the terms, and then open up Docker and ensure that it starts without any errors. Next, download Git for Windows. We'll need this to clone the Dalai repository. Let's go ahead, install Git, and you can accept all the defaults. Now, let's head over to the Cocktail Peanut GitHub page, and we want to copy the link to the code. Open up a command prompt. Create a folder where you can clone the delay project to. Enter your newly created folder. Execute the following command, git clone, and then paste the link that we copied earlier. Go ahead, execute that, and clone the repo. After cloning the repo, you'll see that it created a new folder called the lie. Let's enter that. And from this folder, we can enter docker space compose space build to build the docker image. For the build to successfully complete, your docker must be up and running. And when the build is finished, you want to make sure everything is nice and blue, no timeouts, no errors. And then we're good to proceed to the next step. We'll now execute the following command to install the Alpaca 7B model. Docker, compose, run, delay, npx, delay, alpaca, install 7B. Let's go ahead, execute that command. Now, after the model has downloaded and installed, just check and make sure that you've got no errors. 
Now let's execute the following command to bring up the containers in the web front end. Enter docker space compose space up space dash d. Open your browser. Visit http colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 on port 3000 and you should be presented with the following web interface. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you download and build the code today, there is a good chance you will experience a corrupt Alpaca 7B model. The developers on the repo may fix this code at any time, so this bug can be resolved any day. But luckily, there is a test that you can do to see if your install and your Alpaca 7B model has been affected by this. Now to see if your install is affected or not, Let's go ahead and supply it with our first prompt. I'll ask it what is an alpaca and let's submit that. Now if you do receive a response after submitting the instruction, then uh, well done, your system is working and this bug has been resolved. Otherwise, if you're stuck like me with this wheel just spinning forever, there's a good chance that your alpaca 7B model might be corrupt. Now let's run this prompt again with debug mode switched on. And here you can see the bad magic error. You can also see that it's complaining about an invalid model file and that points to your Alpaca 7B model being corrupt. We will fix this by logging into the docker image and replacing the corrupt model with a working model. Execute the following command to display all the docker images running on the machine docker space container space ls now under names we can see our dali image let's connect to it on docker using the following command docker space exec space dash it space dali dash dali dash one space bash execute the command You should now be connected to your Delay image running on Debian. Now navigate to the 7B model folder by executing the following command cd space forward slash root forward slash Delay forward slash alpaca forward slash models forward slash 7B forward slash. Go ahead, execute the command. You can execute ls and that will list the corrupt model file that we want to replace. Delete this model by running the rm command and you can just follow that by the model name. We'll be using wget to download a working model. So let's install this on the image. Execute the following command. apt dash get space install space wget head over to the hugging face website and from here we'll download a working copy of the alpaca 7b model that we can use right click on the download link and copy the link address now head back to your console connection enter wget space and paste in the link address we just copied. Submit the command and this will download a working model onto your image. Now that we've downloaded the working model, let's go ahead and reboot this machine. After the machine restarted, head back to your folder where you cloned the project into and re-execute the command docker space compose space up space dash d and again before you execute the command make sure that your docker desktop is running you should now be in a position to head back to the delay web interface again input your command again Execute that and if all goes well, everything should now work as expected.
And as you can see, I'm now getting a nicely formatted response from the system. To everyone that's made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. If you found any value, please consider liking and subscribing.